Hello everybody, welcome to Snyder's Inc. And today we got slapped ham video and this is people are freaking out over this weird footage. We're gonna get right into it, ladies. Don't make the like button, subscribe button, comment thing down below. Let's go. How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. You're about to see some of the scariest video clips that are trending on socials right now. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just like this. You said something to it, right? An oh, ordinary workday took a turn into the inexplicable for co- It's the attack of the shopping cart. I remember this one. This is a shopping cart attacks the dude. It would be Todd, a 21-year-old shop worker who suspects a ghostly encounter led to an unwanted scratch on his new Ford Mustang. After participating in a ghost hunt, Todd now wonders if he brought back more than just memories, a mischievous spirit that followed him home. The peculiar incident unfolded outside his workplace on March 5th when a shopping trolley seemingly with a mind of its own collided with Todd's vehicle. With no one else in sight, the baffled shop employee turned to the only witness he had, the store's CCTV system. Take a look at what the cameras caught. Oh, you still have, you still have, didn't you? Oh, oh, see? Look at that! Oh, oh, look at that! The car's just moving! You said it! Oh, the car! The car's just you. moving! The car's just moving! <laughs> look at it! Look at that! It's just moving! It turns at the last second to make sure it hits his car! This unexplained movement has since spun. How the fuck do you. That's. Because you can't even say it just thing, because first of all, it does a complete turn, and then it's aiming for this car right here, but the last second does a turn to hit this one. It specifically wanted to make sure it hit this one. Mark debates on supernatural interference versus natural causes. While some are quick to ascribe the event to otherworldly activities, skeptics question the forces at play, suggesting wind or uneven ground as more rational explanations. However, the store's surveillance video challenges these theories, Agreed. capturing an eerily deliberate trajectory of the trolley's path. Agreed. Some even suggested that Todd pulled a piece of string to move the shopping cart. But the fact that it hit his Mustang and chipped the paint seems to rule this theory out. Todd remains convinced of the paranormal nature of his experience, linking the- Yeah, I mean, unless you really wanted to get a repair on the paint job for some reason, chose that as the way to do it, which would be really fucking weird. I don't know why the hell he I'd also love to know how he explained that to a freaking repair guy. Bet they totally believed him when he said a shopping cart ran to his freaking thing the encounter to his recent ghost hunt and considering it more than just a coincidence. That's what insane. In what some are hailing as a biblical phenomenon, Tavares Brinson was struck what by awe hell? as he witnessed what appeared to be a celestial event on the evening of May 6th, 2022. Brinson, who was on his way home from work, captured footage of a brilliant white light piercing through the darkness of the night sky in Bradenton, Florida. The footage reveals a single ray of light shining from the heavens, splitting the dark clouds apart in a scene that Brinson describes as a religious experience. I mean, I don't know what's going on. That is beautiful looking to see. Like, that would be beautiful looking to see, I bet, in real life. But it's so weird. Like, what the is causing that to happen. At 5.51 in the morning, this is what we see in the sky. The abnormal light, as it was described in the video, has stirred various interpretations among viewers. This is what we see in the sky. While Brinson and others saw it as a divine sign, skeptics were quick to point to a more earthly explanation. Critics have attributed the phenomenon to the after effects of a SpaceX rocket launch that occurred a mere 150 miles away just minutes before the spectacle was filmed. The juxtaposition of spiritual interpretation and scientific... Okay, that could be possible. I don't know how it would cause this to happen, but I guess that is possible considering like this little light part here could be caused by this, I bet. Uh, I could buy that. I don't... It's a little... Fishy, a little sketchy, but I could buy that because of, you know, timing. 
Reasoning has sparked a lively discussion on social media, with individuals from both camps defending their perspective. The Gates of Heaven video, as it's since been dubbed, continues to captivate and mystify. Whether it's a slice of the divine or a trick of the light courtesy of SpaceX, Brinson's experience remains a fascinating snapshot of the ever blurring line between the celestial and the terrestrial. At 5.51 in the morning, this is what we see in the sky. In an uncanny episode that left one family reaching for the nightlight, Jamie Bonnet and Stacey McGilvery were confounded when their two-year-old son Loki seemed to interact with an unseen presence. On April 3, 2022, as they were tucking their child into bed, what they assumed to be an innocent gesture towards a lampshade turned into something that they believed was far more spine-tingling. Take a look. Captured on video, the young Loki. Dad's just like, oh god, my baby's lost it. My baby's lost it. Child's lost it. Already lost. Oh no, he's lost it already. He's only young and he's already seen people that don't exist. This is not good. Uh, he, the kid's got imagination. That's probably all he came up with. His kid's got imagination. Kid's seen things. Loki appears initially puzzled as he stares into an empty corner of the room. But Puzzleman quickly shifts to delight as his face breaks into a grin and he begins to wave and giggle at apparently nothing. Parents assert that this corner was where Loki's great-grandmother, now deceased, would have sat, suggesting a connection from beyond the grave. Oh my lord. It is freezing rain outside my place and it is loud. Is it freezing rain or actual rain? What's actual rain? It's actual freezing rain. It's freezing rain now. Hail all that. I got a lucky enough. I don't think anything about my is in danger, but yeah. Oh my god, the kid's name Loki? The footage which they shared has stirred a mix of reactions from the public. Skeptics dismiss it as the lively imagination of a child, while others are enthralled by the possibility of a supernatural visitation. The incident has not only ignited conversations about the existence of an afterlife, but also about the innocence of children and their potential to perceive things that adults can't. As the footage circulates, it beckons the question, was Loki simply enjoying a moment of childlike whimsy, or was he indeed waving at a ghostly figure from the past? Let me know where you land on this strange footage in the comments down below. In the Pine Tavern restaurant nestled in the heart of Bend, Oregon, a pub boss and his staff claim to have witnessed an event that would make even the most seasoned ghost hunters raise an eyebrow. After the last customer had departed and the closing checklist had begun, one of the workers experienced a sudden chill and the sensation that he was in the company of an unseen visitor. Captured on the pub's CCTV, an ordinary task takes a turn for the extraordinary. Take a look. Glass just moved. Glass is shaking. Glass just moved again. The eerie incident has sparked Whoa. speculation that the Pine Tavern restaurant might actually be haunted. The video clip has quickly become a talking point for both believers in the paranormal and skeptics alike. 
Wow. Patrons and internet commentators are abuzz with theories from drafts and vibrations to more spectral explanations. For the staff of the Pine Tavern, this isn't just a random occurrence, but potentially the actions of a thirsty punter from the other side. The ghostly tale has not only served as an intriguing anecdote, but also attracted curious visitors, hoping to catch a glimpse of the supernatural in action. So how do you explain the stop? I always find this weird when I play with stuff like a bar and that, because you just happen to get customers when you tell us what bar you're at, where you're at. Just, hope, just hoping to get a bit more business, so it makes stuff like this a little sketchy to believe. I don't know how you would fake this, because I mean, it's sliding, it slid some good length. But, um, can't rule it out of being fake. Upstart motion of the glass. Love to hear your theories on this one down below. A regular evening drive through the quiet streets of northern North Devon, UK turned into a spine-chilling adventure for two young men when they seemingly encountered a ghostly presence seated next to a symbol of remembrance. Okay. Josh Newton and his friend George Moore, both 21, found themselves at the centre of a supernatural mystery that has since captivated the local community and online spectators alike. It was the evening of December 28th when the pair, on their way to a family holiday home, paused to capture footage of a war memorial commemorating fallen soldiers from World War I and World War II. What was meant to be a simple act of remembrance took a turn for the inexplicable when Josh, an engineer by trade, glanced at his phone screen to see a translucent figure occupying a bench adjacent to the monument. The chilling footage reveals the spectral form of the figure, which is seemingly see-through, sparking debates on whether Josh had filmed a visitor from beyond the grave. According to some viewers, the misty figure appears to be dressed in the attire of a soldier, sitting in solemn silence. I think you're just reaching here. I think you're all really stretching for something here. I'm so That's just what I think. Islands gazing into the distance. Local legend and historical records do speak of soldiers from the area who valiantly fought in the Great Wars, leading some to speculate that perhaps the figure was a restless spirit of a fallen soldier, returning to a familiar haunt. Others, more skeptical, ponder if the apparition might just be a trick of the light or an optical illusion. That's probably what I think. As the debate around the footage continues, the bench by the Northern War Memorial stands as a new point of interest. It's become a poignant site, not only for its commemorative purposes, but also a bridge between the present and a past that still whispers to those who pass by. Before we take a look at an eerie photograph captured in what's been dubbed Britain's most haunted city, remember to hit that yeah. subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and unnerving videos. York's reputation as Britain's most haunted city has found new support in a chilling photograph taken by a visiting mum. Robbie Natasha Walker, aged 28, was left with goosebumps after a casual photography session at the historic Clifford's Tower seemed to have captured something beyond the ordinary, a ghostly apparition complete with what looks like a bullet hole in its head. The unsettling encounter occurred on a family outing to the well-known 13th century Castle Keep, a site teeming with history and some say echoes of the past. Walker, in the midst of sightseeing, took several photographs of the imposing structure, not realising that she might have photographed more than just the remnants of history. It was only when Walker reviewed her pictures back at her hotel oh. room that she noticed an unexpected figure materialising out of
Are you sure this isn't his head? In this figure's arms, there's clear chest, I thought this was part of his head. Of thin air in one of the frames. The image appears to show a spectral entity, its form hazy but unmistakably human, with the grim detail of what appears to be a hole through its head. A subsequent image, taken just a split second later, shows the figure apparently dematerializing. Walker even shows the metadata from the images, proving that all the photographs were taken within one minute. The photograph has since become a topic of intense discussion and speculation. Historians and enthusiasts familiar with York's storied past are pondering over the possibility that Walker's lens captured the spirit of a person from a bygone era, possibly linked to the many tumultuous events that Clifford's Tower has witnessed. Skeptics question the veracity of the image, proposing more mundane explanations such as a trick of the light or digital anomalies. However, believers in the paranormal are drawn to the more thrilling idea that the photograph offers evidence of a spectral inhabitant from York's extensive catalogue of ghostly legends. Now. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for this reaction video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hit the like button and subscribe button. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all for the next one.